geometry is probably the most important thing that we learn in chemistry um, because stoichiometry is just measuring how much stuff reacts in a chemical reaction. And we're always looking at, um, if we start with this and this, what do we make? How much do we make? How much is left over? That's what stoichiometry is doing. How much energy is produced? How much solution do I need? So that's all we're doing. So the way um, chemicals are related to each other is that they're related by moles and they react with each other based on their balanced equation. So you always need a balanced equation. Um, here I have calcium nitrate and sodium phosphate. This positive calcium is gonna pair up with the negative phosphate, and this positive sodium is gonna pair up with the negative nitrate. So I'm gonna make calcium phosphate, Ca with a two plus, phosphate with a three minus charge. So I need three calciums and two phosphates, okay? And then I have positive sodium, negative nitrate. Na is a one plus charge. Nitrate is NO3, one minus charge. Their, their charge is already balanced. So now I just balance the equation. Um, I can see I have two nitrates here. I've got three sodiums here. I'm gonna need an equal amount of them. So I'm gonna end up with six of each. So how about two sodium phosphates, three calcium nitrates. That way I have three calciums, three calciums two phosphates, two phosphates, um, six sodiums, six nitrates, six sodiums and six nitrates, okay? So it's balanced. So the coefficients are the numbers that we just put in there, the three, the two. This is a one, since there's no number there, and that's a six. That tells me that three moles of calcium nitrate react with two moles of sodium phosphate to make one mole of calcium phosphate and six moles of sodium nitrate. That'll give me the relationship. So when you're doing stoichiometry, if you have, if, you, if you're given information about one chemical and you're asked for information about another chemical, you know you're gonna have to use that relationship. At some point you're gonna say, well I have moles of calcium nitrate and for every three moles of this, I make two, I need two moles of that. So we'll use the, um, the mole ratio. Okay. So whatever information you have about the first chemical, turn it into moles of that chemical, relate it to moles of the other chemical, and then you can take those moles and turn that into liters using molarity, you can turn it into grams using the molar mass, whatever you need. So, let's try one. Let's see. So the first one, I have balanced equation, three moles of calcium nitrate react with two moles of sodium phosphate to make six moles of sodium nitrate, one mole of calcium phosphate. My question is, how many grams of calcium nitrate react with five grams of sodium phosphate? Okay, so I'm starting with five grams of sodium phosphate, so I'm gonna have to go from grams of sodium phosphate to moles of sodium phosphate. Since I have information about one chemical and I'm trying to figure out inf information about another chemical, I'm gonna have to relate moles of sodium phosphate to moles of calcium nitrate. So I'm gonna go from moles of one thing to moles of the other, and then I'll take those moles of calcium nitrate and find out what their mass is using the molar mass. Oops, mass, that's my plan. So I have five grams of sodium phosphate. Five grams of Na3PO4, okay? So whatever unit I have has to go on the bottom, so grams of Na3PO4. I'm gonna have to find out, or I'm hoping to find out, moles of sodium phosphate. And the way grams and moles are related is molar mass. So I add up the mass of three sodiums, one phosphorus, four oxygens. I did that earlier, and it weighed 163.944 grams, so it was equal to one mole of sodium phosphate. So now I know the moles of sodium phosphate so that goes on the bottom, moles of sodium phosphate. And I'm gonna relate those moles of sodium phosphate to moles of calcium nitrate. What I have to what I want, moles of calcium, Ca, NO3, two nitrates. And I can see that there's two moles of sodium phosphate for every three moles of calcium nitrate. So now at this point, I would know how many moles of calcium nitrate um, would react and I'm looking for grams, so I'm gonna relate those. I have moles of calcium nitrate, so that goes on the bottom, moles of calcium nitrate. 
and I will relate that to grams of calcium nitrate. So C A N O S E. All right. So I find out how much one mole weighs by adding up one calcium, two nitrogen, six oxygens. We did that earlier. It was 164.094. Grams for every one mole. Okay, so five grams divided by 163.944 times three divided by two and times 164.0944. And you end up getting how many grams it's going to be? And I got 7.5 grams. And that's calcium nitrate. Okay, so next. I have how many moles, I'm looking for moles of calcium nitrate, or calcium phosphate, can you make with three grams of calcium nitrate? All right, so this time, I'm starting with um, three grams of calcium nitrate, and I'm trying to go to the calcium phosphate. So I know at some point, I'll go from moles of this to moles of this, and to get to the moles of calcium nitrate, I'm gonna start with the grams. So I have three grams of calcium nitrate. So this is really, really good practice for the polyatomic ions. We just keep seeing over and over NO3, NO3, NO3. So nitrate is NO3, it's a one minus charge. I'm gonna go from grams of CaNO3 to calcium nitrate to moles. And I'm gonna use the molar mass to relate those two. So I know that if I have a mole of calcium nitrate, I add up the mass of each of these off the periodic table. So what we did up here, there were 164.094, I think, can't read my writing, 094 grams of calcium nitrate for every one mole of calcium nitrate. So now I have moles of calcium nitrate, and for every three moles of calcium nitrate, I make one mole of calcium phosphate. So for every three moles of calcium nitrate, I make one mole of calcium phosphate. And part of the reason I know that um, calcium nitrate went down here is because I have the unit up here. And it makes sense that three moles would be needed to make one mole of calcium phosphate because every mole of calcium nitrate is just CaNO3 2, so just one calcium, and every mole of calcium phosphate is Ca3 PO4 2. So there's three calciums um, in every calcium phosphate and only one calcium and a calcium nitrate. So yeah, I need three calcium nitrates. So three grams, that was hard to follow, I'm aware. Three grams of calcium nitrate divided by 164.094 times, well, I'm not gonna multiply by one, just divide by three again. And from that, I got um, 0 0.0061, and that was moles of calcium phosphate. Moles of Ca3PO4, grams to mole stoichiometry or grams to grams. Um, we'll see.